cervical seal is an abnormal enlargement of the group of veins around the testicle within the scrotum. These varicose veins usually occur in the left testis and are similar to varicose veins found in the legs. Approximately 15 to 20 percent of all men and 40 percent of infertile males have varicoceles. The disease tends to occur in young men, usually during the second or third decade of life. Healthy veins within the scrotum contain one-way valves that allow blood to flow from the testicles and scrotum back to the heart. When these valves fail or become dysfunctional, blood pools in the veins around the testicle that enlarge to form a varicocele. The disease can cause pain, swelling, infertility and testicular atrophy, which is shrinkage of the testicles. The disease can also cause sexual problems, including erectile dysfunction. However, a varicocele many times is silent and does not cause any symptoms. There is an association between the varicocele and infertility. So, varicocele can cause decreased sperm count, decreased motility of sperm, and an increase in the number of deformed sperm. But there is no correlation between the grade that is the severity of the varicocele and infertility. Also, both unilateral and bilateral varicocele can cause infertility, and even varicocele on one side can deteriorate the functions of both testes. Early diagnosis before it can cause major problems such as infertility is crucial for varicocele. A varicocele can look or feel like a bag of worms with self-exam, and color flow Doppler ultrasound may be used to detect the abnormal reverse blood flow within the dilated vein, which is also defined as reflux. Veracocele is a progressive disease and need to be treated if there is associated pain, decreased fertility, or testicular shrinking. Also, all adolescents with varicoceles should be treated to avoid future infertility. Surgery and embolization are the two main treatments, so we should keep in mind that surgery is not the only option for the treatment of varicocele, and both choices are equally effective. However, embolization has many advantages over surgery. Varicocele embolization is a minimally invasive non-surgical treatment performed by an interventional radiologist in a special angiography suite in an outpatient setting. It's a proven, highly effective technique with excellent treatment outcomes. At the beginning, we insert a small catheter from the right groin through a tiny skin incision, then we advance this tube into the affected testicular vein using fluoroscopy, a type of X-ray, image-guided technology. We inject small amounts of contrast to map out exactly where the problem is or where to block. Then we insert tiny coils or special agents to block or occlude the vein, so the blood backflow to the affected veins is closed off. The blood flow is now diverted into other nearby veins and blood can still exit the testicle through other normal pathways. After confirming that there is no flow in the affected vein, we remove the catheter at the end of the procedure. And the procedure uh, is usually performed under mild IV sedation and local anesthesia. Varicocele embolization is a safe and effective treatment and the success is the same as that achieved with more invasive surgical techniques. So, again, I would like to repeat that varicocele embolization is as effective as surgery. Most men with decreased fertility are expected to have improvement in the sperm count and the quality of uh, sperms after the treatment of varicocele. However, Improvement in fertility may take, may take three months or longer. Testicular shrinkage may also return to normal size after the treatment. In varicocele embolization, 
there is no surgical incision in the scrotal area, no sutures, no scar, no pain, no general anesthesia. And also the risk of infection is reduced. It's an outpatient procedure, typically without an overnight hospital stay. The recovery time is shorter as compared to open surgery. Surgical treatment, on the other hand, requires an incision and may require several days or even weeks to return to full activities. Poor surgical technique can cause problems like testicular damage and hydrocele, which is fluid collection around the testis. And finally, a patient with varicoceles on both sides, both sides can have them fixed simultaneously through one vein puncture site for embolization, compared to surgery which requires two separate open incisions. Again, I would like to repeat that the procedure is completely safe. Minor complications such as bruising at the catheter site, nausea or low-grade back pain may occur, but are uncommon. Embolization has no effect on sexual function, which may be resumed the day after the embolization.